Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a off-grid water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. I've actually got one in the creek back here behind me, pumping water up 35 feet up my hill. So, a question was asked. Is it possible to use one ram pump to deliver to two different places at different heights across your property? The short answer is yes, it is possible. The longer answer we will jump into right now. I'm aware of two different methods for pumping water to different places with one delivery pipe. The first one is to put your water into a storage tank at the highest point of your property and then run two lines to different places from that tank. That option works well anytime, anywhere because there's no issues with back pressure loss and no problems with having uh, the water go to the lowest place all the time. The other method is to have your delivery pipe go up and then tee off to two places. The problem with this is that you have the water always going to the path of least resistance, which is the lower way. So you have to manually turn off one direction or have a float valve to stop that water and then the water will travel back up to the top. There are some issues that can happen with that method and it is back pressure loss. If your lower delivery place is uh, low enough that it's going to cause the pressure tank to lose pressure, then the pump's going to stop. The other problem is, let's say you've been pumping water to the top and then you turn on the water to the lower. All that water from the top pipe is going to rush down and go out the lower one plus the water that's going up and you have to then wait all that time for the water to get back to the higher point again. So there are just some small issues that can arise. Now, with that being said, let's look at these examples with a real world application. The ram pump that I have here in the creek is a one inch ram pump. The amount of head pressure that is coming down the creek is approximately five to six feet. And that is lifting water up to the top of my hill. So we will go up there real quick and I will show you what happens when you store your water at the top first. As I follow the delivery pipe to the top of the hill, I just wanted to mention that I do have four different sizes of ram pump available. I'll have links to that down below. So that five feet of input head pressure in the creek lifts water to about 30 to 35 feet up the hill. And I'll uh, take you up there and we'll see what happens when you have a split in the delivery pipe. The first method for sending water to multiple locations from one ram pump with one delivery pipe is to first bring all the water to a centralized storage tank preferably on the highest point of your property. That's what I do. I've got one delivery pipe coming all the way up the hill to my little water tower here with 300 gallons of stored water. I then have my pipe going back down the hill that splits off in different directions. So I'm able to use the water anywhere downhill that I need to. There maybe are some drawbacks to this. You may have to have more piping, which costs a little bit more. But with the ram pump having a known input head pressure and a known lift height, you don't have to worry about closing different valves and having a back pressure loss on the pump because it is always bringing water up here to the top. So I'm then able to open up a valve at my location downhill and let the water run, close it when I'm done, go over to my next place, open the water, close it when I'm done, or like I said before, use uh, float valves if you have to have stock tanks full or um, that kind of thing. So I recommend this version right here because it is the easiest to control. Now let's go down and I'll show you the uh, T which takes this water off of the main line going downhill. This poly pipe, as you see right here, is going back downhill carrying the water. And I have a T installed right here. I've used some hose clamps to make sure this doesn't break free. So the water going back this way goes down to one place that I like to use the water. And over here is another direction to also use the water. And that's as simple as it would need to be. You could make a manifold if you had multiple places the water needs to go. But uh, from this point down, it doesn't really matter how many times you branch off. It'll have the same pressure from the original tank right here. Here is one location where I have the water teed off that I'm able to use downhill from my storage barrel. 
All I have to do is turn this handle and water will come out, as you can see there. This is the other location that I use water at. I can turn this valve and get a lot of pressure down here as well. I'm currently standing at the location of the lower valve that I've got, and that is only about 10 feet above the ram pump. The other valve that I just turned actually is just up here on this little grassy ridge, and that's about 20 or so feet above the ram pump. And then way up in the woods is where my stored water is. So if I were to try to take my delivery pipe up to this point right here, and have a valve and then go up to that second place and have a valve. If I opened this one right here, first of all, all the water from that upper pipe would rush down and come out of this uh, valve. And then the ram pump probably would stop because I have got enough head pressure on that pump to lift water way up this hill. However, at this lower point, the pressure in the pressure tank would flow out too quick and the pump would stop at this point. So what I'm trying to say is basically you have to be really careful with the amount of falling water or head pressure you have in the pump because if it's too much, it won't uh, keep the pump running if this valve is opened. However, if you don't have enough, you won't get the water to this point up here. So. Uh, that's why I recommend that you take all of your water to one storage tank and then run your water down from there. Okay, uh, I'm not going to show or demonstrate what happens when you cut the pipe and have two um, places the water goes down here at this low spot. I have a video that I did many years ago showing that. Um, so just take my word for it. It's easier to store your water and not try to um, close and open valves and keep pressure on the pump with a split uh, delivery pipe. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I'm Seth with the Land of House channel. If you need to buy a RAM pump, I'll have those links in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.